What is culture? It's all the activities you and I engage in that are not commercial and not government. Church, secular, fraternal, sports, arts, civic. It's where we have deep play. It's where we have reciprocal relationships. It's where we explore our humanity. It's where we revel in each other for the sheer joy of being a human being and where we explore our relationship to our fellow creatures in the earth we live in. Culture is where we explore deep play and create intrinsic value, the human story. Commerce is where we create deep work and utility. In the real world, we live by deep play and deep work. We live by intrinsic and utility values. The key question is what comes first, the community or the corporation and commerce? What I would argue, and it's common sense, is that communities precede commerce, and therefore corporations are not the central organizing principle of our life, but they're an augment and should only be an essential augment, but not sufficient to define who we are. So, what we need to do is bring back the culture. The problem is, the civil society, the culture, the community has been marginalized and colonized by either corporations or governments. In fact, we call the culture the third sector in public policy, as if commerce is the first sector, government's the second sector, and then where we live our lives and create our stories is the third sector. And think of the language we use. This is a total colonialized institution. In Canada and Europe, you call organizations in the civil society non-governmental organizations, meaning not government, but dependent on, totally colonized. In the U.S., we call these organizations in the culture non-profit, not corporate, but dependent on the commercial arena. We need to decolonize the civil society, re-embolden it, bring back cultural diversity, understand that the human story is the center of our identity, then we can put the corporation in its proper role. We can put the market and the networks in their proper role. Their role is to create utility. But utility is not the end of human existence. It's simply an augment to human culture. And if we can begin to reestablish culture as the center where people's power is, then there's a role for corporations and there's a role for government. But those roles are to be attendant to, not dominant over, the place where people have their story told and where they live out their community values. The corporate me message that children are being implanted with is that um, buying things will make you happy. Things will make you happy. And in fact, the research shows that that's not true. What makes people happy is um, challenges at work, um, and good relationships. It's not what you own.